With every nation of the world hungry for oil, the rich deposits of the East Indies invite trouble. To these islands come troubleshooters Richard Arlen and Andy Devine to fight oil racketeers, threatening a vital defense supply. And before they know it, the boys find themselves in the thick of danger. <laughs> This is Nitro. Drop your guns. Guys! Help! Help! Get me out of here! I have a recollection of asking you for a job, and you didn't need any men. Now I think I know why. If I were you, I'd learn to keep my mouth shut. We don't take back talk from prisoners. We've taken over the place. Gotti, Sang, and Darling have gone for the natives. You haven't got a chance against them. That's what they think. Come on, let's get out of here. Here they come! Silly Willie wants us to go to Suey Long. Uh, Talbot and Jennings. Just a moment. Oh. Hello? Yes, this is Dick Talbot speaking. It's R.J. Adams. Oh, sorry, Billy Adam. <coughs> uh, ask Mr. Adams if we can have our jobs back. Hurry up, get the typewriter, get busy. Oh, yes, business is fine. We have a staff of 15. As a matter of fact, we had to add 10 this morning. Oh. Huh? Oh, yes, we're buying wells and selling wells. And we ain't eating well, and I'll chuck it in right now for a meatball. Uh, pardon the interruption, meatball. I mean, uh, R.J., but, uh, you see, we're pretty busy around here this morning. As a matter of fact, the board of directors are coming in right now. Uh, you, you want us to take our old jobs back? Oh, but R.J., we couldn't do that. What about our business? Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> same old kidder. Always kidding, yeah, yeah. Well, um, perhaps we could talk it over at lunch. Oh, not for lunch. Well, how about breakfast? Well, uh, the only thing is, you see... Well, I'll, I'll tell you... It's pretty hard to decide. You know what I mean when you're tied up in a thing? Like, huh? Hey, operator. Hey. Hey, you can't do this. To... 
Operator. You know who I am? Hey. Well, what the... Huh? Where are you going? Well, uh, oh. Thank you. Oh, well, now, just... Oh, well. was he making fun of me? No, no. Oh. Here. Oh, that's the funniest voice I ever heard in my life. Taint, you no, want to no. take a car? Yes. I'm right. coming in here, tearing the place down. Put it back in there. All right. <clears throat> Maybe we can get some sleep around there now. The full phone company's got all them bells out of here. Is that your car? No. That's funny. Where is it? <laughs> You did that all by yourself? No, I used a mirror. You did? Does old Fizzle Face still take his stomach tablets? Yes, he does. Miss Johnson, send those blithering idiots in. Hello, R.J. Oh, hello, Talbot. Hiya, boss. Hiya. Glad to oh, see you. Jennings, oh, how many times do I have to tell you to keep those bone-crushing lunch hooks to yourself? I'm sorry. Every time I get my hand back from you, it looks like a butter paddle. Now, keep your hands in your pockets. Sit down. Yes, sir. Now, well, let's get down to the point, Talbot. I got a job for you. Shoot. It's our sailing office. I want you to go down there and investigate a curly Q on a signature for me. Curly Q on a signature? Yeah. You want us to go all the way down to Serling just for that? That's oh. right. R.J., you've been taking too many stomach tablets. Can I get you a glass of water? No. Oh, all right. Take a look at that. What do you make of, of that? Shorthand? That's right. Can you read it? No. Oh. My secretary tells me it means send help. Send help? Yeah. She called it to my attention because it's been recurring on these reports for several months. I was inclined to think it was part of the signature but I'm convinced it has greater significance. Who's this Laura Lawson? Evidently a new secretary at the Sir Lang office. Uh, it all sounds screwy to me. It sure do, I mean, does. Who's in charge down there? Dowling, Butler's field superintendent. I don't think I know them. That's why I called you in. You any reason to believe that there's uh, something wrong other than these messages? No. Everything apparently is in order. And it may be a false alarm, Talbot, but I can't afford to take any chances. That's why I want you to go down there and investigate for me. When would we have to leave? As soon as you can. Well, right away. Uh, well, uh, of course, that'd be a little difficult on account of our business. You see, we'd have to get our matters straightened out so the staff could handle them. Well, sure. And then there's a little item of uh, an equitable oh, fee. Of course. We haven't course. discussed that. Now, listen to me, you two. I know the shape your business is in, so don't go putting on any airs. You haven't made a nickel in six months. Your furniture's been taken away. Your telephone's been cut off. You're three months behind in your rent. Now, I'm offering you both a good job with substantial pay. I'll even pay your debts for you. <coughs> What'd you say, Jennings? Uh, what he meant to say is uh, we're ready anytime. Good, yeah. fine. Uh, by, by the way, where is Sui Long? Serling? It's a small island in the Pacific. Oh, doggone it. I knew there was a catch in it. Catch? What do you mean? Oh, I get so seasick. <laughs> Well, I was going to suggest that you take a clipper plane in order to expedite matters. Well, good for me. That's <laughs> fine. I... Then a short steamer ride and you're there. Oh. Good luck, boys. Bye, R.J. <laughs> You'll never regret oh. this, R.J. Oh. Let go, you big gorilla. Oh, Shake us out of a job, you junk. Oh, get up. Yeah, just point at him and he went. Oh. I never... Goodbye, R.J. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're not sick, Andy. You just think you are. It's all in your mind. Oh, no, it ain't. It's in my stomach. I know where it is. Look, you haven't taken your pills. You haven't taken your lemon drops. You haven't taken your tea. Oh, I wish I hadn't taken this airplane either. Are we still feeling sick to our tummy, Mr. Jennings? Are we, ma? This should fix it. I'll take charge of that. There you are. Banana fritters, pig knuckles, pickles, clam chowder. Do you care for tea, coffee, or milk? Banana fritters, pig's knuckles. It's all in the mind that's... I 
think I'll go see how my friend is. Thing to be back on that plane. A cigarette? Oh, no, no. Hey, Stuart. Yes, sir. How close is the nearest land? Two miles, sir. Two miles? Yes, sir. Which way? Straight down, sir. Uh, oh, get the deering. Help, help. Oh. oh. it is. Well, can't we eat first? Can't you stop thinking about your stomach for one minute? Well, if your stomach was as big as mine and half as empty, you wouldn't forget about it either. I swear, I don't. I never saw anybody like you in the whole life. Never want to eat. What do you want? Looking for a job. I don't need any men. Well, couldn't we do just a little housework around here for some bread and butter? I don't need any men. Oh, gee, mister, can't you help us out? We got to get back to the States. We're experienced oil workers. How did you get here? On the ship. Went off and left us. Yeah, we just got off for a couple of minutes, and, well, we bumped into Sui Lung Sal. <laughs> well, I if never... If I were you, I'd leave the women alone on this island. Oh, oh, don't worry about that. We'll tend strictly to business. I still don't need any men. Oh. I guess he just doesn't need any men. No, we don't need anybody, said Dan and I. I never saw anybody more positive and a little more frightened by not wanting anybody to help him. Well, if he'd have offered me a job, I'd have been too weak to nod my acceptance. But when do we eat? She looks like she might be a good cook. Yeah. Oh. Big fat one looks healthy. I'll bet Butler could use him. Butler could use the both of them. They said they were experienced oil men. Can you beat it, Natoni? They asked for a job in Saralac. Why don't we arrange it for them? We will arrange it. This is as far as I go. Food! Give me a beer. Make mine water. You better drink beer. Oh, but beer just tears the fat right off of me. And besides, I don't like it. You better learn to like it. There's a water out here. It'll kill you. Oh. Hmm. Do you see what you like? No, but I would like a nice top tenderloin. About three inches thick and about that long. Smothered in onions. With the gravy oozing out of it from here clear to the kitchen. Go on, go on. About two bushels of French fried potatoes. And homemade biscuits. Just dripping with honey. Oh. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, yeah. What do you want? Uh, a beer, beer. Oh. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, what kind of a joint is this? What do they eat around here? The natives eat uka duma paguas. Uka duma paguas? What's that? Tourist. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very funny man. <laughs> well, can you cook? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, hey, she thinks I'm funny and she can cook. <laughs> yeah. You're as funny as a crutch. <laughs> Say, what goes on with you? Is it love at first sight with every dame you meet? Well, no. You remember what the man said about native girls, do you? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. oh. You want to go home without your gizzard? Oh, without my gift. Yeah, stop it. I need it. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, uh, where were we before we were interrupted? Here. Oh. Uh, 
Kanapa lu maing suma ini orang. Ita sunya punya adat. What happened to him? You killed him! Police! Here, here! Police! 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 Pal, will you move over and give me just about that much room? It's my turn. I'm tired. Oh, you lay there and grunt like an old fat bear hibernating. Oh, come on, don't be. Oh. Ah! Don't touch. Oh, well, my feet hurt and I like to lay down, but nothing to just sit there and grunt. Aren't you satisfied yet? Going around with those big bone crushers of yours and knocking people unconscious? Oh, just a little squeeze on the back of the neck ain't gonna knock anybody unconscious. Hey, do you know what a rabbit punch is? Is that like a planter's punch? Oh, wow! Here, here! That's a rabbit punch, and well, I'm a planter. Well, I don't like it. You see this nerve back here? Yes. You get hit on that, and it knocks you unconscious, see? Oh. In your case, with those big meat hooks, you apply a little pressure, and that knocks you unconscious. Oh. You mean that little nerve right there? Yes, yeah, that little nerve there. Oh. Right there? Yeah. And just a little squeeze like that'll knock him unconscious? <laughs> I don't believe him. Oh, come on now, Dick. I'm tired. Oh, I'll be holding you up. Now stop it. And then I'll work for both of us. Come on. Oh. Oh. Dick. Dick. Oh, come on, Dick. Talk to me. Oh, Dick, will you talk to me? I did it again! Oh! God! 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 Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! 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 I'm in command here, if that's what you mean. I'm Gotti Sang. Gotti Sang? Hey, are you any relation to Stinky Sang used to play third base for Cleveland? We'd like to uh, contact the American consul. We're American citizens, and we demand our rights. That would be superfluous. You've already been tried and found guilty. And I've imposed a sentence. Oh, now, just a minute, buddy. How could you do that? And we weren't even there. That's an old custom of the island. It eliminates red tape and expense. Oh, oh that's a good idea. I'll bet you... Uh, uh, would you mind telling us what the charges are? Not at all. You're charged with ordering drinks and not paying for them, molesting women, and inciting a riot. The penalty is two years at hard labor. Two years? Well, we ain't got that much time to hang around. You say two years? Exactly. Oh, now, just a minute. The detective ladies of barbecue, you... Get the prisoners ready and load. What's the matter, Getty saying? You look as if you could bite your way out of this jail of yours. I'm afraid two of your countrymen are going to regret they ever came to Sora Ling, Mr. Dowling. Trouble already? One of them knocked me down. Knocked you down, eh? Good. You say good? Oh, wait a minute. No offense. I meant if they keep on making trouble, you'd probably have them working for us for the rest of their lives. If I were you, I'd choose my words more carefully, Mr. Dowling. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. How many men have you got lined up for this trip? Eight. Fine. That fattens up your income. And for the company, good labor at fair rates. I was wondering if your home office is satisfied with the labor rates they're paying. What do you mean? I was considering charging a little more for the prisoners. They're becoming increasingly difficult to handle. You know what we call that in the United States. Blackmail. But when one is above reproach, one is immune to it, eh, Dalton? I'm sure we can work it out. I'm sure we will. 
When are you sending the men up? They're being loaded now. I'm going with them. See you later. Hey, quit shoving or I'll thump you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read. Where are they taking us? Well, I don't know, but wherever it is, I don't like this southern hospitality. Beef and one do you no good. What's the setup? Oil fields, inland. Don't know much about them. Ain't never seen anyone who come back from there. What oil fields are they? Uh, Peerless Indies. Peerless Indies? Why, that's what... <coughs> Peerless Indies. That's the prettiest name I ever heard of for an oil field. Peerless Indies. We're just playing a little game called Q. <laughs> yeah, just a little game called Q, Curly Q, Barbecue, and Susie Q. <clears throat> now, it's your turn. Give me a five-letter word meaning P's and Q. Think hard. Think hard. Think. Time's up. Student! Yahoo! That's not a five-letter word. <laughs> sure ruined my piggies. Bring the honor like us. Canapa. Bring the city. What are we in it? Dotto, dedicated to Uncle Marie. What are they talking? Russian? That sounds like Malayan. Oh, are they mailing these? Anna Anjing, Tita Boletengo, Kitamari. Eh? Biggie. Get it off, get it off. The cat Marie Sini, young Marie. Be kind to the prisoners, Malugi. Treat them gently. They're delicate. Very delicate. <laughs> you know, I got a hunch I ain't gonna be very happy around here. What did you expect, Andrew? A castle on the Riviera? Well, anything in a pinch. Greetings. Another load of prisoners, eh, Gaddy Sang? You ought to be ashamed selling men into slavery. Ashamed? I'm their benefactor, Miss Lawson. Here they enjoy fresh air and exercise. Think how terrible it would be if they had to stay in my unpalatable jail. You know, someday your good deeds are going to catch up with you. You talk like a woman who is soured upon life. Perhaps our island hasn't supplied enough romance. I'm surprised at Mr. Butler. I thought he was what you call a Romeo. Never mind that, Gary Sang. Oh, hello, Butler. I was just condoning with Miss Lawson on the bloodlessness of American men. I'm sure that Miss Lawson doesn't need any advice. Those reports ready yet? They will be in a moment. You won't mind carrying some mail back with you? No, I should be glad to accommodate you. The mail will be late. 
see I'm paying you a visit for a day or two, a sort of inspection visit. I'm checking up on the working conditions of my men. Tavern Jennings, 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Heather's, 22. What difference does you it make? You make? The give me two beds, sleep in these silly old Johnny sacks. <laughs> this is the Peerless Indies Corporation. Well, it's beginning to make sense. Well, there ain't nothing gonna make sense to me till I get something to eat. Room service! Bellboy, get it! Hey! I want Sunday! Is there something disturbing you? Well, you can't tell it by looking at me, but I'm starving to death. Well, when do you eat around here? We don't. Don't, don't you ever eat? Just once a day during the week. Oh. But on Sundays, we don't have to eat at all. Well, now, I ain't gonna stand for that. You've got to stand for a lot before you get out of here. Unless you're smart. Well, I ain't. He's smart and I'm hungry. And I want something to eat. Food! I want something to eat. Food! Next to you, oh. this ain't no tea party. Oh. You're here to work. Yes, sir. And if you remember that, you'll keep out of trouble. Uh -huh. If you don't, ask the rest of these swine what'll happen. Give them some new outfits and burn their old clothes. Oh, thank you. You heard what the nice man said. Nice? Huh. Mother's little helper. Swine. He'll regret that. There's a lot of people around here who'll regret a lot of things before I'm through. And it won't be long either. Not so very long. You work in the fields under a hot sun until you fall. And they beat you till you get up! Edwards has been acting up again. Keep an eye on him. All right, everybody, stand clear. Everybody back. All ready to shoot. Get up on the hill. Stand clear. Look at that fellow. He's crazy. Get away from there. Sounds good to hear the old soup roar again, even out here. Soup? I am starving to death, and you're talking about some need. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest day's work I ever did. I got calluses on my calluses. You'll get used to it. I don't want to get used to it. You won't have to. You're smart. What do you mean? Three of us are breaking out tonight. You're very foolish, my boy, if you listen to him. He's just saying that because his time's almost up. No. If I had another ten years to serve, I wouldn't try to escape. Don't pay any attention to him. We can get out all right. Many have tried and none have succeeded. The jungle is impenetrable. The road is guarded. Only death waits outside these walls. He's yellow. We can't fail. Uh, how are you going to do it? We're going to steal the truck that brought you up here. Then we can count you in. Well, I'll have to talk to my partner first. Yes, yes, yes. 
You tell him. We'll let you know. All right. Hurry. Edwards and three other men are planning a break tonight. They're going to grab the truck. I don't think they'll get very far. Get back to the barracks and keep your ears open. I'll tell Getty Sang. You want to stay here? You must be heat happy. Couldn't be in a better spot. Well, you can be in a spot if you want to, but I don't, and I'm checking out. Listen, you dope, we were sent down here to do a job, remember? Yeah, I remember, but nobody said anything about doing 20 years in a South Sea who's cow. Well, you'd help matters a lot more. If you'd stop your squawking and help me figure out a way to find Laura Lawson. You're sure you won't drop over to my place and have a little drink? Quite sure, Mr. Butler. Well, it's a funny thing, but in the tropics, time is of no great importance. I can wait a long time, Laura. But it does seem a shame to waste it. Good evening, Miss Lawson. It's a lovely evening for romance. I'm sorry to interrupt. Lucky fellow. What do you want? Oh, nothing, really nothing. Just that some of your men are planning to escape. Malugi discovered it. Malugi, chain them up. Why not let them escape? That would be smart. Very smart indeed. If they escape and we capture them. After that, the others hesitate to escape. Well, you mean to use them as an object lesson? Your perception is like lightning, Mr. Butler. We must see that nothing interferes with them. I hope the young American is one of them. Your friend here is wise. You'll thank him for keeping you here. Oh, you just haven't got any spirit of adventure. They should be here any minute. They must come down this road. There they go now. I was with them. What, for adventure? Oh, to get something to eat. Funny, there's no guards. Yeah, they got away. Why do I listen to you? I wish that I never ever... that you were wishing? Oh, maybe they're better off than we are. I told you it couldn't be done. Thanks, Benedict. Never mind, I'll tell him myself. Hello, what are you doing about so early? I came to find out if you've gone crazy. Well, what's the trouble? I heard about your letting prisoners escape and then killing them. My letting them escape? It was Gaddy Sang's idea. That isn't what I heard. And even if it was, you're supposed to have some brains. Men are hard to get. They represent an investment. Younger Tito! Younger! Squeeze me, sleepy! How was that? The trouble. Let's go. 
What happened, Malugi? Albert and Jennings started this riot. Yeah, and that isn't all we're going to start. Chain them up. Wait a minute. Bring those two into the office. Bring them up. Come on, Argy. What are you saying? Get the records of these two men, Miss Lawson. Yes, sir. Names, please. Talbot and Jennings, from New York. USA in America. I can take care of these men now, Mr. Dowling. Shut up and bring them inside. Yes, sir. The face is very familiar. Don't let it get too familiar. The less I see of you, the better you like it. And vice versa. Excuse me. I have a recollection of asking you for a job and you didn't need any men. Now I think I know why. If I were you, I'd learn to keep my mouth shut. We don't take back talk from prisoners. Here are the reports on Talbot and Jennings. Is there something you wanted, Miss Lawson? Uh, no, no. Excuse me. You're hardly in a position for a summer flirtation. The case against you men seems pretty clear. Yeah, and what you're doing is very clear, too. I tried to be lenient with you, but you make it impossible. We'd have to recommend an extension of sentence to Gaddy Sang. It's our duty. You seem to have a very keen sense of duty. With a half a chance, you'd start talking about honor, too. Take them out. If they give you any more trouble, chain them up. Who, who do you think you are? Luby. Well, I'm Andy Jennings, New York, USA. You'd better watch those two. They're smarter than the rest. That's why I think we ought to get rid of them. Use your head. Experienced oil workers are rare up here. All right. If I'm going to have men like that around, I want more guards and more guns. You're wrong. Getty Sang's men on the outside can take care of any real trouble. And the fewer guns we have around, the less chance there are of the prisoners getting hold of them. We've been working for hours. What time is it? About 12.05 AST. AST? Yeah. Andy, stomach time. I'm so hungry I got to eat with Malugi. I wonder where that suey lung baboon is with my lunch. Your lunch. Thank you very much. How did you get along with Downey? Just like that. He's gotten so fond of our work, he wants to keep us here permanently. I wouldn't take Downing too lightly. I'd like to take him lightly by the neck. <laughs> Wish you boys were leaving with me. Say, when you get to Sarling, will you do me a favor? If I can. What is it? Mail a letter. I'd be glad to. Thanks. Andy, I've got to see that girl in Butler's office. You mean Curly Q Lawson? Yeah. Well, if you ask Butler, perhaps he'll let us invite her to tea. What are you going to do, play Piggy Went to Market? Hey, what do you got there? Payroll from the New York office. Hey, if they ever catch you with that, they'll massacre you. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. Hey, 
Where do you think you're going? Well, I, I couldn't sleep, and I thought maybe a cigarette might... You can smoke inside. Well, I, uh, I haven't got a match. Oh, that was clumsy. Easy, sleepy. Squeezy, sleepy. Nice work, Andy. Now, you stay here and entertain him. Well, tell me, my good man, how long have you been in this line of work? You don't say. Well, you're in a rut. Now, what you need is a change, a little determination. Now, you take my family, for instance. There was a family that really had determination. I remember one time when I was a little boy, about four, me and Mama was sitting on the porch just like this, right after a big flood. Well, we were sitting there looking out over the back five acres, and there the water was just whipping down through there about five or six foot deep. Well, we noticed way over in the corner of the north pasture fence a hat just floating along, floated right on down by the house, clear on down to the south past your fence, turned and floated right by again. Well, we sat there all afternoon and watched that hat float back and forth and back and forth. But we didn't pay no attention to it because we know Pa and how stubborn he is, and, well, once he makes up his mind to plow, he's going to plow. Now, that's determination. guy trying to flirt. <laughs> well, the situation was hardly appropriate for a flirtation. Yeah, but they wouldn't stop my friend Andy. He got us arrested flirting with a native girl, and the first thing you knew, they threw us in a truck and brought us up here. I knew they shanghaied men, but how, I could never find out. Yeah, but it was really a break. I got a slant from the inside without even being suspected. What's the setup? They've been using prison labor without pay, and then sending through a regular payroll charge. Dowling, Butler, and Gaddy Sang have been splitting up the proceeds. You knew all this didn't write the home office. I couldn't. All the mails are watched. I'm as much a prisoner here as you are. Butler. Yes. But fortunately, Mr. Butler is a very vain and egotistical man. He believes that any woman will capitulate to his charms in time. How'd you get into this mess? I was a school teacher on summer tour. We had a short stopover at Sawyer Lang. I was offered a position, and here I am. You see, there's nothing to it. Then when you have your own oil company, all you have to do is to sit back in a great big easy chair and just clip coupons. What happened? Oh, nothing, old timer. It's just squeezy go sleepy. You see, you squeezy here, squeezy go sleepy there. Sit a rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Benedict is taking the letter out for me. All we have to do now is wait. All right. Who is it? It's George. Thought I'd come by and find out how you are. I was just going to bed. Fine. I'll tell you some bedtime stories. In just a moment, I'll slip something on. Don't go to any trouble. I'd like to wring his neck. If he catches you in here, you might have to. What are you going to do? I'm going to get him away from the house so you can get out. You don't have to do that as far as I'm concerned. I've handled him pretty well so far, please. Hello, Butler. Hello, Gary Sang. It's a lovely evening 
even without romance. Can't he saying your aesthetic senses need sharpening if you have any? I haven't anything one doesn't need in the jungle. Good night. Well, you couldn't have done a better job if you'd taken an hour. Of course, you wouldn't waste that much time on me. It's a beautiful night. Shall we take a walk? Well, I'm rather jittery. How about a drink? I'm sorry, George. I don't have a drop. George. Can it be that we're becoming a trifle more friendly? Perhaps. Now, how about that walk? Well, why not? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, hey, get up there. Oh, what happened? Well, you were sound asleep. Oh, don't tell Maluki. Maluki, I should say now. Tell him I'm a nice fellow like you, I should say now. And you do the same for me someday. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Well, here's your pass, Benedict. It'll get you safely back to Surly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And here's $200 to help you get started. Oh, thank you very much. Not at all. You've earned it. I'm sure that Gaddy Sang will be glad to... I'm sure that Gaddy Sang will be glad to take you back with him. Oh, I should be honored. Oh, my prisoners were like Mr. Benedict. My work would be much easier. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you. Tengo a Bini around with they. Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Tell them they're making a mistake. Tell them I'm free. Here's my pass. See? I'm a free man. I doubt he tell them don't sunko. Lele? Didn't you find any money? Money? Very well, keep it. We'll divide it up. Get along. Don't leave me! Please! Don't leave me! Please! Please! I didn't think you'd want that to get to your home office. So Talbot and Jennings were sent here by Adams. I wonder what made him suspicious. Whenever there's a beautiful woman around, expect either trouble or romance. And my observation has been that Miss Lawson isn't particularly romantic. We have a little business with Talbot and Jennings and Miss Lawson. Butler made an entry opposite Benedict's name. Died of malaria. He was murdered. From the looks of things, they don't intend for anybody to get out of here alive. That letter. But that, of course. You know, I look forward to these nightly chats with you. You're so easy to get along with. You never tell anything that I tell you. It doesn't go in one ear and out the other. No, sir, does it? <laughs> Please be careful. I will. Sorry to intrude, Miss Lawson. I didn't know you were entertaining. You know what to do with him, Malugi. And while you're at it, you might pick up his fat friend, too. Yes, sir. Our blossoming friendship of last night seems to have wilted, Miss Lawson. Well, if it has, it's all your fault. I've tried my best to like you think the best of you, but uh, you make it impossible. Well, what do you expect me to think when I find you here with a prisoner? What do you expect me to do? Overpower him? Put him in chains? Get a private room. Huh. Got a nice southern exposure, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
Enjoy yourself. It won't be for long. <laughs> oh, everything's built for short people around this joint. Oh. Hey, well, what do you mean by that crack? This is one hole I got us into that I can't blame you for. Oh. Butler found me in Laura's room. Uh-oh. That's bad. One good thing about it, that crack on the head Malugi gave me knocked an idea into it. Well, it better be a good one. Yeah, if your hand is still good. My hand? Huh. <coughs> well, it's still number one on this squeezy go sleeping parade. This box. Nitroglycerin. <laughs> you fumbered? You want to go home in a box? Start digging. Well, we ain't dead yet. Oh, start digging. <laughs> That's deep enough. Go on over near that log and dig another one. Yes, sir. That's a good boy. you hide it all in one hole. I'm not hiding it. Well, I'll be a fried dyspeptic owl. It all adds up to zero to me. You sure you ain't got a touch of bats in the belfry? If you haven't figured it out by now, you wouldn't understand if I told you. Somebody's coming. I wonder who it is. Hey, open up. Albert and Jennings into the office. Yes, Twan. Come on. I still can't understand your treatment of those prisoners. Even if I tried, things like that put an awful strain on my... my affections. 
Well, that's all past now. From now on, you'll see only the best side of me. When those men are free, I'll believe you're in earnest. Well, they will be. Tomorrow. Hello, darling. If you're not too busy, I'd like to talk to you. Of course. I'm sure you'll excuse him, Miss Lawson. Lock her in. What's the idea? I just don't want her to get away from you, Butler. Congenial white women are so scarce on the island. What's all the fuss about? Talbot and Jennings were sent here by the New York office. What do you think so? Come up at the office and you'll find out. Or well, Luby's going to get them. Well, that's eight of them. How many left? Four. All right, bring them along. Oh, let's leave them here. I don't like this stuff around me. Yeah, there's a lot of other people aren't going to like it around them. Pick it up. Oh, shucks. Why are those two Americans? I don't know. No sign of a guard. Maybe use vanishing cream. Uh-oh. The lights are on in the barracks. They know we've gone. Use a little vanishing cream on that. Now be no. careful. Don't drop that box again. No. Search every building. All right, there we are. This is Nitro. If I throw it, you know what'll happen to this building and everybody in it. Drop your gun. All right, men, tie him up and this. The Americans have captured Malugi and the guards. They have their guns and ammunitions, and they have Nitro, too. So you lock them up, eh? Come on, Getty, say. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I don't want to do something for your blundering stupidity. Well, let me go with you. Better stay here and take care of your lady luck. Come on! Come back with Getty Sang's troops. Well, that's just what I wanted him to do. That's what you want him to do? Oh, Dick, now I know you're touch. You want him to come in here with all them soldiers. Suppose you let me do the thinking. Tell the men to get some oil drums and planks and take them down to the gate. I'll be back. Well, you heard him do as he said. And don't ask me why. Well, get going. Go on. Get him. What? Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Let me in. I can't. They've locked me in. Stand by. We've taken over the place. Gotti, Sang, and Dowling have gone for the natives. You haven't got a chance against them. That's what they think. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, you swans, get those drums in here. There ain't no coffee clutch. Hurry up with those planks. Nice work, Andy. Yeah, I still think that you're... Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, lovely morning, ain't it? Uh, I was... Never mind about those weather reports. Get busy on that firing stuff. Oh, sure, sure. Sure. What's the firing stuff? The platform. Oh, never mind. I'll do it myself. I'm doing it. I can't do everything around here. Well, you don't do anything. I don't know what you're doing. I can't do it. Bring those planes in here. Always yelling at me. I'm... I'm not getting to it. Get down the plane. We'll take the machine gun with us. The rest of your men will follow. Sumarang Malaya Mari. Hora Senapong, Gita Lamato. Come on, Rob. Oh, 
Antonia, telephone. The cast. Good work, boys. Andy, tell them all. You picked out the men who were the best shots? Yes, and they know just what to do. All right, get them up on the firing step. Some more round. Keep your eyes open. Hey, Dick, why can't I have a gun? How many times have I told you little boys shouldn't play with firearms? Oh, I wish you'd quit mothering me. You let me build the fort, and then we'll let me shoot out of it. Oh, I'm going let you build your own places. Anything inside, Talamo? Nothing yet. Well, they ought to be getting here pretty quick. Well, it's all set. Now all we have to do is wait. I'm like Andy. I don't know what it's all about, but I'll keep my fingers crossed and pray. So will I. But don't worry too much about it. No, don't worry. Don't anybody worry. I'll do all the worrying. <laughs> so anybody, don't worry. They're coming in and drools on us. He's going to get me out of here. You worry about that. See that, Derek? Yes. It overlooks the back end of the compound. And you're thinking it would make a nice place for a machine gun nest. Exactly. And when your men come up and start attacking the gate, their only way out is through the back. And you'll be their reception committee. Lupi G. Sanat. Come on, he's almost there. He's not city. He's not city. Troubles are over. Yeah, we wiped them out. Get into cover, quick. Get out of there, boys. Get some nitro quick. Oh. Where are you going with that? I'm gonna blow up the derrick. Fall down and kill yourself. Hey, keep firing at the derrick.
attention, R.J. Adams. Received your radiogram of congratulations. Greatly appreciate my appointment as manager of Serling Office. Period. Oil production encouraging. Dash, dash, which is more than I can say for my secretary. Period. She has beautiful eyes, comma. And a date to go walking with me tonight. Question mark. Period. Very affectionately yours. Dick Talbot. What's that curly cue on the end of my name? It means send help. Period. What's the matter? Um, half the population's after me. The new chief of police wanted me to show him how to play Squeezy Go Sleepy, and well, I did. And what is Squeezy Go Sleepy? Oh, here, I'll show you. Ah, don't it. touch. Oh. oh, well, you see, you put your thumb right in there, back of the ear, and you put the rest of the hand around here, and just apply a little pressure, you see? Squeeze. 